Welcome to part 3 of this video tutorial series about Blueprint. In the previous two video tutorials we've created a barrel blueprint that catches fire when it takes damage and explodes. In this tutorial we're going to add the ability for the barrel to actually cause damage to surrounding actors when it explodes. So what we'll do, we'll open up our blueprint and we're going to start off, we're actually going to add the damage causing between the spawn emitter at location and the destroy actor nodes. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect those holding control and clicking and we're looking for a node called apply radial damage. Now radial damage applies damage in a certain radius around a point. I'm going to hook both of these up to here. Now apply radial damage has a bunch of parameters here. Uh, the important ones for, at this stage we're going to look at first are base damage and damage radius. These are two things that we want to allow the level designer to be able to modify when they actually place the barrel. So like previously where we've had our damage per second and our health, we're going to go ahead and add variables for these and expose them for the level designer to actually modify the values. We're going to add two float variables called explosion damage. As always, if you're going to have an editable variable, make sure that you give it a tooltip. Amount of damage when the barrel explodes. And I'm going to go ahead and create a second variable which is going to be called uh, explosion damage radius. Once again, editable and radius of the explosion. <coughs> I'm going to get both of these variables and connect them appropriately. Now we've got a few other parameters here, we've got our origin, and the origin is simply where the centre of the damage area is, and that can be the location of this actor. We have the damage type class, which we're just going to go with generic shooter damage type again. Uh, the damage causer, once again, just like we did earlier on with the fire, uh, it's going to be self. And B, do full damage, this is a variable that actually does the full damage uh, for any actor inside the radius rather than um, having a fall off. So I'm going to compile these. As always, when we add variables, we should be going over the defaults and setting some initial values. I'm going to call this damage 50. I'm going to say the radius of 256. I'm going to compile that, jump back into the editor and play, and let's have a look what the result of this actually is. Go up to the barrel, I'm going to shoot it. As you can see, I took some damage. My health down the bottom of the screen there has been reduced to 50%. So this works. But the key issue is here is what does 256 actually mean for the radius? We don't really have an idea of how much 256 units really is. So what we're going to do is we're also going to add a really simple way to visualize the size of this radius. Now in the components that are in Blueprint, we can add think visual things like particle systems, static meshes, skeletal meshes, lights, things that are visible in game. But we can also use the components editor to add things that are only visible in the editor. I'm going to call these visualizers. So if we add a really simple uh, sphere component, click on add component, you can see down the bottom just here I've got this small red sphere sitting right at the origin. If I compile that and go and have a look in game, or go and have a look in the editor, sorry, there's my red sphere. I'll actually bring, bring this barrel up so you can see it. But if I go ahead and click play in the editor, that sphere is not actually there in game. Underneath the barrel there's no sphere there at all. And the reason for this is because a lot of these things such as sphere components, box components, are default hidden in game. So we can actually use these and combine that with our construction script to visualize things that we need to inside the editor. I'm going to go ahead and call this explosion radius sphere so it's exposed to our, uh, our graph editor. Make sure that it's visible and hidden in game. Click the compile button. Now over in the graph editor, if I click on uh, the construction script on the left, uh, on the tab here, what I can do is I can click, in it, click and drag in a get for this variable, which is our explosion radius sphere. I can drag off that to do a function called set sphere radius. And quite easily, I can set the radius of the sphere to actually be the radius, the radius variable that the level designer specifies when they place the actor. 
Now these construction scripts run every time the object gets constructed, so it gets placed in the map, or every time you change a variable, this construction script gets re-executed as well. So if we go in there and have a look at our barrel, we can see that we now have this red sphere, which is 256 units in size. If I go ahead and change this to 512, and press enter, you can see that sphere is actually expanded. So we can now visualize the, the radius of this explosion. This can be used for all sorts of things. There is a, a demo lit, a blueprint demo lit, which uses a box component for actually the spread of randomly placed instanced foliage. So there are many ways that you can utilize this. That's all for this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and keep an eye out for the others.